welcome to Army Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things Irie, download the Army Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. This newscast is brought to you by the Jamaica Music Conference, February 13th to 16th at the Courtly Auditorium. JMC, music industry education and networking in Jamaica, sponsored by Ari Jam Radio. In today's stories, Quada out on bail. Farewell, Barry Moncrief. Remembering Bogle. And another successful rebel salute. Quada out on bail. Releases new single. Dancehall DJ Quada was offered bail in the sum of 500000 last Friday. After three days behind bars, the entertainer who is signed to Popcorns and Ruley Cap appeared before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. He was ordered to surrender his travel documents as part of the conditions to his bail. He returns to court in January 27. Quada, whose given name is Shogel Clark, was arrested and charged with murder and arson in relation to last year's killing of 30-year-old Miguel Williams in Sterling Castle Heights, St. Andrew. Reports from the Jamaica Constabulary Force that Williams was allegedly beaten, set ablaze, and his house torched by Clark and others. Williams was killed in the aftermath of the tragic killing of Red Hills primary school student Shantae Skyers, who went missing for five days before her decomposing body was found in a section of the community known as Blue Hole. Meanwhile, upon his release, Quada dropped a new single titled Pain. Farewell, Barry Moncrief. Dancer and choreographer Barry Moncrief has passed. Moncrief, who was 78, was battling cancer and died shortly after 7 p.m. Friday. On hearing of his passing, Culture Minister Olivia Grange said Moncrief was one of the finest male dancers we'll ever see. Uncle Barry, as many call him, was one of the foremost figures in dance in Jamaica. He gave 55 years of unbroken service to the National Dance Theatre Company of Jamaica, NDTC, through various roles as dancer, choreographer, and artistic director. He was a central figure in establishing and developing the artistic style and sustainability of the company, she said. He joined the NDTC shortly after it was founded by Professor Rex Netherford in 1962 and rose to artistic director in 2012 and served until 2018. Barry Moncrief was also involved in the fashion industry and was famous for mixing black, white and red to create stunning pieces. Remembering Bogle Mr. Wacky is gone, but his dancing lives on. Today marks 15 years since the passing of the legendary dancer Bogle, also known as Mr. Wacky. Gerald Bogle Levy was a founding member of Black Rose's crew of Lincoln Crescent, Rose's Corner in Kingston 13. Its members included community leader William Willie Haggart Moore, David I. Smith, Michael Stewart, and Lonsdale Boise Guy. Bogle rose to prominence in the 90s with dances like Bogle Dance and World Dance. He built a brand around himself by coining catchphrases like dance or die and claiming that ideas for moves came to him in moments of divine intervention. He was shot and killed at a St. Andrew service station on January 20, 2005. He had just left popular dance Weddy Wednesdays at Stone Love headquarters in St. Andrew after 2 a.m. R.I.P. Bogle. Another successful Rebel Salute. Rebel Salute's 27th staging at the Grizzlies Plantation Cove in St. Anne last Friday and Saturday has been hailed as a resounding success. Intermittent rain and heavy winds were a feature of the two nights Roots Reggae Festival, but patrons nonetheless got their money's worth. From a sizzling spontaneous tribute from Park Lane's finest, Sanchez, Flower Gone, and Daddy Lizard on Friday night, to an explosive dub plate display from Jack Scorpio and Sudanese selector Dynamic, and a plethora of top class performances in between, Rebel Salute 2020 stamped its class. That's our wrap for today. Thank you for watching Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. This newscast is brought to you by the Jamaica Music Conference, February 13th to 16th at the Courtly Auditorium. JMC, music industry education and networking in Jamaica, sponsored by Ari Jam Radio. See you soon.